Now it's Thursday, so that means a check-in with our colleagues at Life for ideas on how we can spend our weekend. Now I know, Olivia, that you have something exciting happening this weekend. Yes, I have the social event of the year, my daughter's uh, third birthday. <laughs> so this is the first daughter? Yes. It's okay. It's good, just going to be a small family affair. <laughs> okay, now if you haven't been invited to this birthday party, here's what else is in store. Chinese restaurant Man Fu Yen reopens at the Intercontinental Singapore Hotel with a new menu by executive chef Aaron Tan. To share more is a food critic Wong Ayok. So Ayok, what can we expect from the new offerings at uh, Fu Man Yuan? Uh, Man Fu Yuan, sorry. Uh, it's a Chinese restaurant at the Intercontinental Singapore in Middle Road. Uh, the hotel has reopened, so the, the restaurant is running a food. Uh, full business. Uh, what has happened is that when the hotels and restaurants close during circuit breaker, a lot of the chefs take the opportunity to come up with new dishes. So now that the restaurant is reopened, uh, they have launched their new menu. So I'd like to try a new menu and some of the, the dishes were very interesting. Uh, most of them are based on traditional Chinese dishes, but uh, the chef has like uh, come up with new ways of presenting it. And, and you know, presentation is so important mm. these days because everybody wants to put their pictures and their videos on social media. So I think the restaurant has tapped into that. And like every dish comes with a little bit of drama. Like there was this uh, beef short rib that is wrapped in lotus leaf. So what the chef does is that he bakes it in salt, like a salt baked chicken. And then when he serves it, he flambes it with some pepper corn on top. So you get the aroma of the peppercorn before you even eat the dish and then he unwraps it at the table. So then there's a little bit of drama, uh, which I think uh, diners will enjoy. But most importantly, the dish still tastes really good. It's, mm. it's a very traditional Cantonese dish of uh, braised beef. Yeah, so that's what you get. Uh, there are other dishes as well. Uh, there's also a sakura chicken soup. And for that, the chef serves it in a little teapot. So it's like the Japanese Dobin Mushi, you know, the teapot mm. soup. So mm. he does it with a Chinese soup instead. So it looks very pretty in photos, very photogenic. So uh, yeah, so that's what, what uh, has been uh, new at Man Fu Yuan. Right. Now if you had to pick one, Ayo, which would you recommend? Okay, I really like this dish that uh, the, the chef uh, does based on a citron dish. It's actually uh, uh, it's a fish poached in peppercorn and salted vegetables. This is actually a very traditional Sichuan dish, but in China, they usually use their freshwater fish from the rivers in China. But in Singapore, we don't get the same kind of fish. So the chef uses a marble gobi instead. Mm. And uh, it is poached in this uh, sour, slightly spicy stock. Uh, there's some green Sichuan peppercorn in it, which gives it a little like the, the tingle on the tongue. Mm -hmm. um, the green peppercorn is actually milder than the dried ones that's used for like the mala, hot pot and things like that. But you still get a little bit of uh, tingling sensation on the tongue, which is very nice. And uh, yeah, the flavors are sour, a little bit spicy. So it's very appetizing, uh, best eaten with rice. Right. You got me at fish because fish happens to be my favorite meat. Okay. <laughs> Good. Well, thank you, Ayok. That was the Straits Times food critic Wong Ayok. Now, do look out for Ayok's piece coming out next week. From food to arts and culture, senior culture correspondent Ong So Fern is here to tell us more about Stay Home Quilt Open House. So Fern, for a start, what is uh, this initiative all about? Well, this project is actually an installation started by Singaporean artist Jimmy Ong. It's on at the Zhu Chi Humanistic Youth Centre in Yishun. He started it before the circuit breaker, so it started as a completely different thing. It was a poverty quilt project and he wanted the visitors to the centre to sew buttons on a quilt. But because of circuit breaker, no one can Go there so they mm. mailed out all these packages to different people for them to sew little patches for a quilt at home so now he's assembled the quilt into a sort of patchwork house and this weekend during the open house people can sign up for a tika weaving workshop and you can make a floor mat for the house to complete the installation 
Alright, so the uh, workshop is happening this weekend, correct? The Tika yes, that's workshop. Right. Saturday but uh, and the Sunday. open house, uh, it's happening, when is it happening till? Um, the exhibition for the installation for the stay home quilt mm. will be on till the end of November, mm. but the workshops are just on, on Saturday and Sunday. Right, okay, so those are uh, two things that you can uh, look out for, the workshop as well as the installation that is happening all the way uh, till the end of the month. Yep. Very exciting stuff indeed. Well, thank you so much, uh, Sofen, for coming on to the show to share more on this initiative. We've been speaking to Senior Culture Correspondent Ong Sofen. Well, there you go, a couple of places you can check out this weekend, the Stay Home Quilt Open House, as well as the Man Fu Yen.